Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So obviously, as you guys can tell by the title, we're gonna be talking about the littiest products in June, in my opinion, and also the shiitake mushroom products of June, in my opinion, again. So if you'd like to see what's on my list, then just keep on watching. So if you guys haven't checked out my previous video, then you wouldn't know what this is, but if you have, then you know exactly what I'm gonna talk about. The good old JS. The good old JS, the good old Jeff Star. <laughs> no. uh, his summer collection, specifically liquid lips and the blue raspberry sucker lip scrub. If you haven't checked that video, be sure to scroll down, go to the description box, there'll be a link below. Check that out, girl. Be sure to check that out. But if you haven't, I'll give you a little sneak peek. I absolutely loved this collection. The liquid lips are so opaque. They're rich, um, there's not too many cons, I think, in my opinion, and I love all the colors. And the lip scrub is just amazing, I want to eat it. <sighs> when I was putting it over my lips today, I was just like, gosh, this is amazing. I'm actually wearing one of the colors right now. I'm wearing a mix of Hunty and Butt Naked, and I put some lip gloss on top, because, you know, a girl only wears lip gloss uh, when it's a video. <laughs> So if you guys haven't yet checked out his collection, definitely go to his website. Grab your hands on this if you can, because it's amazing. Second item on my lit list is Jaclyn Hills and Morphe's palette collaboration. If you haven't checked out my previous video, then I don't know what you're doing, girl. You better scroll on down, look in that description box. They will be linked below, but if you did, you'll know that this is also going to be on my lit list. I know this has a lot of controversy surrounding it. People are saying that the colors aren't pigmented. I mean, I don't know what people are talking about, but for me, this eye look was created with this palette. I barely have to really go in and build up color. I feel like the color, especially on certain colors, um, is definitely super pigmented. You don't really have to continuously go in and add more color, add more color, because I know sometimes when you blend out colors, they start fading and you have to keep adding and building. With some of the mattes you do in this palette, I won't lie, but the shimmer is just one swipe and you're good. It's amazing. Definitely a lit product. So if you haven't gotten your hands on it, I know it's still sold out, but I know restock is coming soon, so when it does, girl, run. Don't walk. Run and get this palette. You'll thank me later. So my third lit product of June is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. <laughs> I actually recently went to Ulta and I got these. They were like buy one, get one half off. So I spent $15 on two instead of spending $20 or 20 however much brow wizards are. I'm not really sure. Don't quote me. But I know it's over $20, I think. Um, but I used to buy those all the time. Um, but, you know, it adds up. And I do my eyebrows almost every day. So it really sucks to kind of go through like $20 a product when you're already going through other products as well. So to get these for such a discounted price, it's amazing. And it normally went for $10 for one. So even you can get two for the price of one brow wiz. And I think that they're just as good, if not better, than the brow wiz from Anastasia. So if you're looking for another brow product that won't hurt your wallet, definitely invest in these two. I lost count for a second, guys. <laughs> so my fourth lit product of June is the Endless Silky Eye Pen by Pixie by Petra. I got this in either an Ipsy or a Sephora Playbox box. Sephora Playbox box. <laughs> I'm not really sure which one, um, but I really am so glad that I got this because it really feels like silk. It's insane. I've never felt a pen like it's so soft and it, it just easily glides through. There's no tugging and the pigmentation is awesome. It's long lasting. I just think it's one of the best eye pencils I've ever tried. So another product that I have on my lit list is the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. I really like it. I feel like it's one of the best lip plumpers I've ever tried. It doesn't really sting that much. It fills in lines that, you know, girls that don't have lip injections, you know, you have lines, and especially when you put on matte liquid lipsticks, you can see every single line. And I feel like this is actually a really good lip plumper because it fills in those lines. When you put it on, you have that nice pouty lip look without the injections. So lately, I've been really into fitness. It's been about five months since I started going to the gym, like pretty, pretty steadily. In the beginning, it was really hard for me to get my ass out of bed. I was like, I don't want to get up, especially because it was like 4:45 in the morning, and your girl was not awake at 4:45 in the morning. She was like, I'd rather just cuddle. I realized I needed a little pick me up, so I got this C4. I first tried a few of the flavors and I was like, all right, they're okay. Pink lemonade is probably the worst flavor out there. It's disgusting. Don't get it. Seriously, don't get the pink lemonade. It's gross. But the best flavor of C4 out there. If you're a fitness person, you need 
some kind of like awakening in the morning. Strawberry Margarita C4 is fucking fantastic. It literally tastes like you're drinking a margarita before the gym. I don't know what's better than that. What's better than drinking a margarita before the gym? I'm super obsessed with Whitney Simmons. She's like this fitness girl on YouTube. She's so funny, so quirky. I love her personality. She's actually one of the reasons why I was inspired to like start going to the gym and take care of my body. And whenever she does these like must have, she always like has the product out and then she like tops it. So I'm actually gonna try to do that today and see how it goes because I just wanna like be here. So that was great. I feel so good. My last lit product of June is. Converse. Kind of weird, but I'll explain. I'm trying to grow a peach. So in order for me to do that, um, I was watching some videos, specifically Whitney Simmons again, and she mentioned how she uses Converse's because it makes her feel her leg exercises more on her glutes. So I was like, I, I, I got, I gotta get a pair. I have to get a pair because I just feel these leg exercises like kind of just in my legs and not really in my glutes, and I didn't see any growth or anything. And once I started using them, girl. <laughs> My glutes were on fire. These shoes, 100% are the best for leg day. So if you don't have a pair, go on. I got these at Marshalls for like $25, girl. They're not that expensive. They're super cheap. If you can find other ones, and even if you can't get them, just take your shoes off, and your feet are still just flat enough that you can still get that nice like booty pump. So work them, work them glutes, girl. So my first product for my shoes list is Seek's mini highlight stick it's super cute packaging i will give them that like this is adorable and this is how much product comes in the sample size i hope this is the sample size and not an actual size that's how much comes in it i feel like once you first apply it like i'll show you guys a swatch when you first apply it the pigmentation is definitely there see that it looks beautiful right so i definitely always use for like inner corner eye inner corner highlight and then a brow bone but then once you start to like you know, massage it, massage it into the skin. <laughs> Once you start to blend it out, it's, it's like, it's gone. It's just not there anymore. The so next product on my sh list is this Marc Anthony Deep Repair Aloe Vera Jasmine Deep Repairing Conditioning Treatment. Whew, that's a long, that's a long name. Apparently it's hydrating formula, moisturizes, softens, and corrects dry, damaged hair, protects color, used weekly. So I used this and uh, it's pretty much empty. I gave it I gave it a good shot. It dried my hair out. It did not give me any kind of conditioning treatment. Um, I'm not a fan of this. So next item on my sh list is unfortunately this Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick that I got as a sample in a Sephora Play Box. Um, I love Kat Von D. I love her makeup brand. I love her products. But this liquid lipstick is just too drying for my lips. The minute I put it on for a video, literally in the inside, uh, started to wear off, which bugs me because I hate having those butthole lips. Um, it was super drying. It was just like clinging to my lips like a clingy girlfriend. And my lips were like, just like water, water. You know? So uh, I, can't, I can't. And the color, as you can see right here, spots through my hand, is beautiful. But I just, I'm sorry, cat. It's a no for me. So the last product on my sh list is these lashes from Violet Voss. They are called I Want It That Way. I just don't like them. I've worn them a few times and every single time I wear them, my eyes water like I'm really focused. I can wear other lashes perfectly fine, but these for some reason just make my eyes water and I just, I can't, I can't deal with them. I'm sorry. I really wanted to like Violet Voss lashes, but this pair at least, I just, I can't do it. Thank you guys so much for watching my first ever lit and video. <laughs> I really appreciate all the support that I've been getting on my last few videos. If you like this video, please be sure to click the button that looks like this. The like button, of course, if you didn't know. And if you like me, which I know you do, <laughs> but if you like me, please be sure to click that subscribe button and also follow me on my social medias, which will be here and here. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.